Alright everyone, um, so today I'm going to continue on chapter 9. So yeah, oh, what is this? Oh. I was inviting you to join for a celebration. Yeah. Okay, let's go. It seems like we are ready for a celebration. And for those of you who are interested, I just upgraded, like, I bought new pieces for my uh, computer. So yeah, first of all, uh, I bought a new processor, SPU, the uh, 6700K, uh, an Intel i7. And um, yeah, so second of all, I bought... Uh, like a motherboard uh, for the socket, and I also bought uh, water cooling for my CPU. And I also upgraded my RAM to DDR4. And yeah, and I bought an SSD, which is going to be a huge upgrade. To old friends and new allies. Right, let's listen in. I'll drink to the second part. Do you even recall the last time we relaxed? I can. It was 2.6 million years ago, and Senya was still a jerk. And to think I was going to sing for you all tonight. <laughs> you were what? Ah, oh, come on. I have got to hear this. Too late now. Theron, you can't let the weight of the galaxy rest on your shoulders all the time. Isn't that why you talked me into coming here? To lighten your load? I brought you here because you're good. Hey, look who it is. Don't worry, didn't really start without you. Yes, we've only just begun. I wasn't sure you'd attend. A chance to unwind after what we've been through is exactly what we need. You are exactly correct. Now get this guy to cheer up. I'm reasonably cheery. I'm joining in. And now you are too. I was hoping to have a talk with one of you first. Yeah? Well, leave me out of it. Cough. Look, you can do impossible things and change the galaxy. Great. That doesn't guy. mean I have to like everything you've ever done. Take us in the right direction. I've got limits, and I'm not the only one. When can I kick him off I'll my team? I'll reason with him. After he's had time to calm down. Hope he wasn't the one you wanted to talk to. No. I was actually hoping to talk to Lana. Of course. It's quite something, isn't it? So much more than the last alliance we formed. What I suspected when we aligned with Theron, Satil, and Darth Maar has borne out. I may have initiated events, but they would never have coalesced without you. Hmm. I should be dead inside a metal tomb right now. You were determined to break me out. No, that's not... The truth was right in front of me, but I didn't want to believe it. I thought you were the only one to stop Arkan simply due to your capabilities, but now I see. This is destiny. Your destiny. It goes against everything I know to be true, but it's there. It's real. Not if I do this alone, it's not. You're an important part of what we're trying to accomplish. Of course, and I'll continue to be for as long as you'll have me. I think we should rejoin the party. We have earned it, after all. Yeah. I think we've done well in establishing the Alliance. It appears the celebration has died down. Oh, everyone's trudging back to work. I haven't found Senya yet, though. 
You mind taking a look for her? Lana and I have some things to go over. Very well. I'll meet with you shortly. Thank you. <laughs> that animation when he sat down, it was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Alright. So, I am supposed to... What are these quests, actually? So then, I finally decided I was fed up with all the bullying and intimidation. I told her, No! Go do it yourself, you insufferable organic! Oh, Master! Oh my! You're still alive! How unfortunate that I was not able to find you sooner! How long have you been standing there? Mm. How unsettlingly vague. Uh, but then again, that is always what I've loved most about you, Master. Uh, that and how you've never wanted to deactivate me. <laughs> Have I mentioned how incredibly terrifying and lethal you look today? Talking. Terrifying lethal. Oh, yeah. oh, I've just remembered our ship needs a thorough dusting. I'll be going to take care of that then. Wait. Wait. No. Maybe he knew about my friends. Oh, right. So, um, well, it's, oh, there it is. I don't know what to say. Yeah, I needed to give that to Long Situ and Two. The new commander. Greetings. I am C Two N Two steward of this facility. It is my extreme good fortune to serve you. I can assure you, the pleasure and joy are all mine. There are so many people within this facility. I am truly beside myself with excitement at the sheer number of lives I can now make more comfortable. Well, I have gathered all of my remaining them. comfort supplies in preparation. Unfortunately, there are not enough to completely pamper a facility of this size. But that is no excuse not to do everything I can. I simply need to be efficient and apply my efforts where they will provide the greatest joy. Perhaps you could help me, Master. As someone who knows the people here, you are well equipped to determine which comforts would be most suitable for each part of the base. Sure, I can do that. Excellent, Master. Let us begin at once. I shall explain each of the comfort-enhancing items available, and you will designate where to send them. No more than one per area, though. We must be fair. I have several modified food processor control chips. These will produce low-calorie meals, which are still highly nutritious. I can personally construct some portable, non-perishable meals allowing people to eat properly no matter where they that might That sounds go. like a military I have food. a variety of extra pillows and padding for seat cushions, a simple yet often overlooked method for enhancing contentment. Finally, I have a supply of synthetic Alderanian nectar. I have no sense of smell, but I'm told its aroma is utterly sublime when run through air circulators. Hmm. Where should we allocate the modified food processor control chips? Well, that should be in the... Mm -hmm. Yes, Master. Where should we allocate the portable non-perishable meals? Oh, wait, wait. Very what well, the hell? Master. I thought that was the Where meal. Where should we allocate the modified food processor control chips? Food processor control chips. Yes, Master. Where should we allocate the portable non perishable meals? Oh, that is a military. As you base. say, Master. Where should we allocate the additional seat cushions? Seat cushions. At once, Master. That leaves the Alderanian nectar for Dr. Ogarab and the research lab. Yes, it does. Excellent, Master. I shall get started at once. Right. You should check in with each of the specialists. I'm sure they'll wish to praise the improvements we've surely made to their daily lives. Let me... 
Alright, I will. Oh, another one. I don't know what to say. Can't mount here, okay. So what's happening in my guild? I know we are conquest farming today, like every day of this week. Are trying to reach some conquest level? <laughs> we have really overtaken them. Alright. So yeah. Okay, first I should go to the research facility, it seems. Commander, do you care to tell me what that protocol droid was doing near the lab's air- Yes, aromatherapy, of course. Inspiring the mind by inspiring- So he is happy. That's good. You like the aromatherapy? Right, next one. Underworld Logistics. Hey, Commander. Someone's been messing with our food processors, and I'm guessing it's that C2 series droid. He even went out to some of the ships. The last thing any of our freelancers want is someone telling them what they can or can't eat. Okay, so... She didn't like it, Omar. Should I have given them the... Well, let's hear what this guy has to say, because that's the only other thing I can Hey, think. Commander. That C2 unit has started dropping off crates of packed meals in the barracks. It's not really now, the helpful. meals aren't going to last in the field like our standard rations, and there's not really enough here to feed an arm. Okay, sure. So I have to swap the meals. With those processing food stuff. All right, I can do that. Commander, C2 at the padding reduces discomfort and distraction. Okay, she liked it. Then let's go back up and. And make him modify it. I have no idea what it does, but for the quests. Yeah. Master! Oh, I see. I fortunate. Where? Alright, so. Modified food process. We gave them Yeah, we need to yes, give them to the soldiers. Where should we As you see the force on that leaves the old Excellent let's Alright, let's try again. Let us hope we have properly distributed the comforts this time. Please check. Uh, 
Oh, this is... Okay. It's okay. Let's go back. Yeah. So right now I'm just trying to like reach the end of my chapter so I'm actually ready for the newest expansion. I will definitely hey, be Commander, playing the new want expansion a sandwich? when it comes out. That C2 droid just came and December dropped off a crate of packed lunches for us. And they're all neatly packed up too. Our pilot I will. Right. Seems like I got it right this time. Commander, that C2 droid just did something kind of amazing. Some of the troops might complain a bit, but this will be great for keeping our fort. Alright, so that worked great. I have to go back and relay the comfort situation. See, everything was great, get my reward, and then I can actually move on. Find Senya. She's probably on the ship. That's at least what it looks like. Master! Oh my! Oh. Influence. It looks like it was repeatable. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I have to go. Why do I have to go back there to get on my ship? I know I have to go back on my ship. It's not a mystery. What I actually could do. Let's just try and be sneaky about this. Ah, story restrictions. Ah, that would have been really nice. I go with Senya and. All right, so yeah, here player ship, personal starship. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, there she is. So she is actually not on my ship. It's impressive, you know. People from all over the galaxy want to stand behind you. That can't be what you were out here contemplating. It is, in a way. I was thinking how so many Scions followed Heskel. He would have them die as he did because their deaths were foreseen. Their visions provide great insight, but they're not infallible. Reminds me of the Heralds of Zeldrog. There's another leader who paid for his certainty. Say what you will about Valkorion, but he at least considered the viewpoints of others. He listened to me. Most of the time. He didn't... He would never have done what... What... Arkin... What is it? I told you before that Arkin had a brother. Thaxon. They were inseparable until his death. Valen told me during our fight. Arkin murdered Thaxon. His own brother! Maybe if I had raised him... Your fight with Valen. What happened? What she had to <laughs> say... It struck me down to my core. Paralyzed me. She slipped away. Now, more than ever, I realize my children must be stopped, and that I have to make peace with the choices I've made. Whatever you've done to get here, I hope you can do the same.
She raises a good question. How do you look back on your path to this moment? You're in my head. Why don't you take a look for yourself? And what good would that do our alliance? We are of one purpose, but your mind is your own. Use it well, and you will succeed. I see you defeating Arkham, even if there are those on this world who disagree. What does that mean? Who disagrees? Cough. You will learn soon enough. It has to be Koth. Greatest douchebag in the galaxy. He's out there somewhere. Our own father plotting against us. He's not the only one. After I told Mother that you killed Vaxen, she probably wants your head. But it's not a problem. You have the throne, the fleet, this whole empire. You are as safe from her as can be. I wish Dexon could be here now. Let's see, I was right to challenge Father. Imagine it. The three of us ruling this empire as it was meant to be ruled. I'd like it if Dexon were here too. But that's no longer possible. Doesn't matter. Father has a new favorite. He wants the Outlander to take all of this from you. I'll die before I let that happen to us. I think that's the plan. You will. Oh, there we go. Go to the Alliance War Room. I will do that. I have now successfully gone to the Alliance War Room. So, what now? Isn't that Lana? And isn't that La that Lana? Let's hope there's two Lanas. That would be great. What is all this? It's your first official speech as Alliance Commander. I'll have to thank everyone for their vote of confidence. There was no vote, no meetings, no debates. It's simply the way it is. The way it's been since the day you arrived. Everyone knows it, it's just official now. I thought you hated titles. I hate having one, but I do love granting them. They're looking to you to guide them to greatness as only you can. Take them there. You began with nothing. Now you stand inside the base you have built. The Alliance grows stronger every day. You have done well. But make no mistake, your work has just begun. It's time to redouble your efforts. To sacrifice and do as your superiors tell you without question. When you grow tired, when you wish it would all end, I want you to think about the madmen out there. Arkan remains a threat to everything you have ever held dear. Arkan is your enemy. Destroy him, or be destroyed. have come so far. Indeed, they have. They still have far to go. But at this rate, they could one day pose a challenge to the Eternal Empire. Perhaps. A pity so many of them will have to die. Not on my watch. Ooh. 
That was a lot of influence. All right. <laughs> oh, I actually passed. Yeah, okay. My Dink story arc. You don't look too happy, Theron. What is it? They were mounting a resistance. Locals, Imperials, they had resources, a plan, a base of operations. Miot was arranging to smuggle weapons. Gone. They're all gone. The Star Fortress over Bathawui vaporized every last trace, every last rebel, and then just moved on like it didn't matter anymore. I don't know what a Star Fortress is, but I assume it belongs to Arkan. Let's obliterate it. I love nothing more, but it's not that simple. Frankly, I've only just it's gotten up to speed. Bewanega was looking into it. Now he's busy trying to reach out to his fellow Bothans, so this falls on me. The Star Fortresses are battle stations, deadly and pervasive. Arkin's way of keeping the galaxy pliant. So many worlds we can't even contact because of these things. There are dozens, maybe hundreds. We tried everything to learn about their inner workings. Weaknesses, nothing. And now this. Right now they're suppressing, but that's just to bide their time. I feel it, Commander. Arkin's got a plan for those things. The kind of plan you don't recover from. Find a way to access one, and I'll tear it apart from the inside. I'd love to see that. Oh, you will. Without the faintest clue of what we're up against, it's a massive risk. That I'm ready to take. All right. We have to do something. I'll go too. Try to make heads or tails so we know how to deal with them. Let's not waste any time. Be right there with you, Commander. Lieutenant Marklo. Commander, Lieutenant Marklo. I know all about you, of course. Know the kind of things you Sith represent. If I hadn't seen with my own eyes what you'd done for the camp, what I want to say is, on behalf of every Republic grunt on this rock, we're with you against Sakul, all the way. You good to go? Good luck. If you manage to get inside one of those things, blow it apart. I will. 